Hey guys, it's me, Miss Jaden Dior Fierce, and guess what? Yes, that's right. It is that time of the week. It is Wednesday night, darling. Today, I am all painted up to give you the maximum fantasy with my custom earrings that I made for myself. Yes, catch. They are called Jaden Jewels. Honey, yes. I think I'm gonna start selling them soon, but I need to improve on my little technique. Y'all like my earrings? Catch it. And I also did my makeup on my Periscope. Do y'all like clock the mug? Don't clock the nails, but clock the mug because the nails are quite clockable. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm doing this video is because especially after Drag Race, but even way before Drag Race, everybody always asks me, do you wear a wig every day? And I'm like, no, honey, this, this is all 100% natural Negro now. This is all grown from my scalp. No, this is not extensions. I don't have any weave. I don't have any of that. This is what I naturally grew from my hair. I've been growing my hair since about, what, 2007, 2008-ish. So many people see me in short wigs and stuff. So people are just like... Miss Jaden, she must wear a wig every day. How does she fit all of that hair up under all of those wigs? Well, today, oh, look at her. Well, t on today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get my hair, all of this hair up on a wig. So if you have long hair too, and you wanna wear a wig, especially if you're a drag queen, this is finally what you have all been asking for. So stay tuned. Ding. Let's get started. Now, the two things that you're going to need to wrap up your hair is going to be some pantyhose. Now, see, these pantyhose are expensive, and I paid a whole $30 for these, and then they get all ripped up and all that other stuff. So, you know what? I don't throw these babies away. I reuse them, okay? You know what I'm saying, boo? So, um... As you can see, these are uh, the industrial tights. They're all used and they got holes in them. So you need those. And then, of course, you're going to need you some good old bobby pins. And by the way, that is on top of my RuPaul maquette box. I saved the box because the box was cute too. Yes, hey, Bobby Ru. What's the tea? Give me that crown. Or at least put me on All Stars 2. Shade. Now, y'all about to see my natural, my NNR. That's my natural nappy roots. Yes, catch it, honey bun. Let me just throw this to the side. So, oh, for now, I'm going to take off my nice cute earrings. Come on. They're magnetic. Yes. Okay. So, let me take down my good old. Yes. 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 Oh, sorry, y'all. I got a little bit carried away. See what had happened was. So, now that my hair is down, technique number one. Now, if you want to have a um, wig that is like a straight wig, you know, that comes down, or, you know, a wig that, uh, you know, you want to be kind of flat up top, this is my technique number one. For anything that, you know, where you want, you know, all the volume back here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair, my natural nappy root, my Negro naps as I like to call them. And I am going to, what I'm doing, I'm going to see if I can turn around. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like tying my hair like in this like little knot kind of thing. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm pretty much just putting my hair back. Woo, child. I'm sorry, my, uh, I know I need to get these roots done, honey, please don't judge. But anyway, so I put it pretty much in a ponytail, and then what I do is I flip the rest of my hair over the top of my head. Okay? Y'all see that? <laughs> so, I pretty much got it in a ponytail. You see that? Mm-hmm. So most of my hair is actually in the back, and it's anchored in the back, and then I just have a little bit up here. So I'm going to take my, my stretch fishnets. It's good to get the fishnets that uh, got like a really, uh-oh, I'm dropping stuff. 
good to get the fishnets. It got like a really tight fishnet hole. You don't want the fishnets with the big old holes because it's probably not going to hold it as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over my head like I'm a little gremlin. Yes. This is part of the process, ladies and gentlemen, is to look like a little gremlin or like a little octobussy. Yes. Hashtag octobussy. So y'all like my ponytail, my pigtails. <laughs> They sick then, they fierce, I know. Now, the next step I do is I flatten, I make sure I flatten out this band because you don't want it to be, um, I found out just over time that if you like leave everything like all bunched up and stuff, it seems like it's easier for it to slide back. And I guess because maybe it's just not, you know, as taut, I don't know. Oh, I hate that word. Hated word of the day, taut, ugh. Just say tight. Pull it taut. The F. Um, but anyways, so I always like make sure it's flat all the way around. Now I'm going to take one of the legs. It doesn't matter which one you take first, but do pay attention which way you're wrapping it. So I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to start by going behind my head first. Now, as I am wrapping this, I am keeping everything flat. So this leg... I'm making sure it's flat. I just feel like it holds it much better when it's like flat. So I'm just gonna wrap this around my head. Now, the thing that does kind of suck, like when I was on Drag Race, I had huge headaches on stage because if you, once you wrap your wig on, especially if it's a wig that you're about to whip around. Now, if you are about to do like a dance number and you don't need your wig to come off, Honey, this will work as well. It will squeeze your brains out. But I'm telling you, when I was on Drag Race, I had the hugest headaches because, honey, being wrapped up in this is not cute. So anyway, so now I'm going to take the other leg and I'm going to go the opposite direction and I'm just crossing. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just crossing over in the back. Yes, crossover. And I'm going to do every the same thing. Now I'm just making sure that this stays, you know, pretty flat for the most part yes flat all the flat booty bottoms in the house work that puss from out south okay that didn't make sense but that's my new single it's available on itunes it's called flat booty bottoms <laughs> for all the people with no booty in the world nowadays so <laughs> i'm just playing so next you're gonna take the bobby pins now the bobby pins i use rude of the really big uh oh i'm about to do the thing that i hate that i mean you kind of have to do to focus the camera but i hate this on makeup tutorials um i'm <laughs> i'm using the really big bobby pins these aren't like the little small ones you know or the regular size ones you can usually get these i think these are roller pins is what they call them um oh my head is starting to hurt already but what i do is i take a couple of these Actually, I'm, I think I use four to be exact. So I'm going to grab these tights and I am going to pull from the back to the front and across. Okay. Now, what this is doing is this is pulling all my hair to make it a perfect circle. Because if I just leave it like it is, everything, you see that little, uh, I got a Squidward head. Oh, I got a string. I got a Squidward head right now, honey. I look like I'm about to say, oh boy, oh boy. SpongeBob, I hate you. Yeah, right now I got an octopusy head. So you don't want to have that. So what I'm going to do is pull this around and to the opposite side. So that's just going to kind of help like bring it up and over a little bit more. Then you're going to do the same thing, but go the other way. This also makes everything extra tight. Um, Y'all be wondering how Miss Jaden goes out there and does all whoosh, 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 and her wig don't come off. Girl, you don't want your wig to come off. Girl. Okay. And how I'm pinning it is I'm pinning, putting the pin up under all of the pantyhose and it has like a really, really tight hold. Now, next... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm pulling straight down in the back. 
it's just the same technique. And I'm just sticking it right up in the center. So I pulled it. Y'all see that? <laughs> yep. And then, oh, chat out my carpet. I'm running over my carpet. And then, last but not least, I am pulling um, the front middle part, which this one is really optional. I like to do this, it's just go, because it just rounds it out a little bit more. But you see that? You see that? That's my favorite phrase when I'm doing a two tall row. You see that? You see that? Oh, ooh, child, I hate this. You see when the little ball falls off of the hairpins? Uh-uh. I'm not about to use that. Cause child, it will scrape your scalp away, honey. Okay. Yeah, this one never feels comfortable. Okay. Yes. So I got my egg head going on. Y'all see? This is head wrapping method number one. Now I'm about to take my dry synthetic wig now you put on you a good old dry synthetic wig. Not nothing that's laid, not nothing that's sickening. You just gotta, uh, you always have to have dry synthetic wig. On today's dry synthetic wig, <laughs> I'm so slow. Um, today's dry synthetic wig is this good old synthesis that I had bought online. Yes, come on, shake and go. She was nice and cheap. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna put her on. It's just like anybody else put on wigs. Well, most people, I turn it upside down. And I bring it around. Oh, yes. I feel like a fake off-brand storm. Yes. I should keep it just like this. Is that cute? I know it's cute. <laughs> oh, I don't know which way I want this. I guess I want it to go a little bit this way. Yeah, that'd be cute. So, since you have, you know, if you're just like me and you have a whole lot of hair, oh, this got some little combs in it. If the wig does have combs, you can comb it up under the, the pantyhose. But most wigs don't have combs. So, what you do also to secure a wig, how I pin it as I take me a bobby pin, and I put it through that really thick banding. And sometimes it has like, like a little gap. But then I push the bobby pin up under the actual, um, I push the bobby pin up under all of that that we just put in now. But next, um, I'm gonna put a pin in the other side. You see this banding up, up, up under here? Well, next to the lace. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide that bobby pin, you see, through that. And then I'm turning it around and pushing it up into the wig. Now, the good thing about doing that is, honey, if you want to whip your hair to the gods and back, honey, you can whip it and she ain't gonna go nowhere. So now um, I am adding pins. Oh, girl. I'm adding pins in the back. There's usually like, you know, some wigs have longer lace, so you can glue that down. I'm not about to glue mine down, but you, you know, after you secure it on all sides, you can glue down your lace and all that other stuff. Okay, so now that you got your wig on and she is fully fastened, then the last step is, of course, to style your wig, you know, tease it, brush it, do all that other stuff and make it look fabulous. I just rewrapped my hair really quick. Um, now, my next method is the two wig method. Yes, you heard that right. That is if you want a little bit more volume. So you can use two wigs and put them on top of your head. Here is how. First, you need two of the exact same wigs. Come on, Ronald McDonald Red. Yes. Most of the time, if you ever see me doing a dance number and I am whipping my hair in this really big hair, like for instance, when I did Beyonce Formation or any of those numbers where you see me with some really big hair and I'm like whipping it. This is how I get them on. Yes, ma'am. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first wig and you're gonna put it on the back of your cranium, just like that. So I'm gonna take, uh-oh, I'm dropping bobby pins. So you're gonna take the bobby pin and I'm hooking it through how I do it. And this keeps it really secure. Um, you can see the lace right there, but you're not going to glue this lace down because you're not going to see it. Um, but what I did was I hooked the bobby pin forwards through the band in the wig, and then I pushed it back up inside the actual wig itself. Now, next, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Ow, it kind of hurts a little bit. All right. So as of now, I mean, it's it's hooked in, you know? So it's pretty much hooked in. You can see it in the back. Now, what I do is I'm gonna put one bobby pin. I'm gonna put this through the lace in, in this wig, or you can put it in, uh, in front of the hairline. And what I just did was I pinned it forward and then slid it back inside of this. Now that part didn't hurt because I have all my dreads. So all of my dreads is keeping this wig in my head. Last, I'm gonna put one more pin in the back. And then I'm pushing the pin once again through the band in the wig, and then I pushed it up inside of this. With this wig, now what you're gonna do is you are gonna take the hairline. I like to grab the two ends of the uh, the two separate ends of where the lace is, and I'm gonna flip it back. Now, I am going to place the very end of this, well, let me show you. This is the banding I'm talking about, you guys, in a wig. So, this is the very end of the lace, and what I'm gonna do is I'm stretching that as hard as I can, and I'm attaching it to where the other wig starts. And I'm doing, I'm pinning it. I just pin that right on up. As you can see, you can see, now it almost looks pretty much continuous, like one wig, even though it's two. And then I'm pulling this really, really tight. Yes. Come on, wigs. Now I'm about to do the same thing. Ooh, focus, focus. Um, I'm about to do the same thing to the other side. So I just pinned it on that side. So now mind you, this lace needs to be cut because I cannot stand seeing like a big old lace band. So don't clock the lace. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this wig forward. Now mind you, this wig only the front is pinned. So I'm gonna flip this wig forward this is the rest of the wig. You can kind of feel where the rest of the wig is because it's kind of like almost folded in half. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this. I just locked my hairpin inside the back of this wig by going through the cap. And now I am going to go the opposite direction of the wig, which is forward. So, yes. Yes, Chaka Khan. Don't I look like Chaka? The good thing about this hair is this is some really big hair, but it's so anchored inside of your head, it is not going anywhere. So I could just give me a good old dance break, go. Girl, yeah, oh. Well, besides it being all up in my face, you see this wig, oh my God. That's why you spray your wig. But, oh, child, mm. But as you can see, this wig doesn't go anywhere. I'm living for the obvious lace. So that is exactly how you do the two wig method that is stacking wigs. Once you stack them, honey, you can dance in them, you can whip your hair, you can style it, you can do whatever, like let it be wild. I love this wig, how it's so wild. Ooh, I would love to have this in a blonde, honey. Do me some good old Tori Kelly. Last but not least, the one that everyone's been waiting for, how do you get all of this hair under a little bitty short wig? Well, guess what? I'm about to tell you exactly how I do it. Hashtag revealing the secrets.
Jaden has some secrets too. Alyssa ain't the only one with secrets. Jaden has one. And Victoria ain't one of mine. My technique for this is a little bit different. So let me show you what I do. So I'm taking my hair in a ponytail and I'm twisting the back. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing as I'm flipping it over the top of my hair, but for the most part, it's still twisted. So all of this, ooh, child, my pots and pans in my kitchen. So for the most part, all of this stays kind of twisted, which gives me a little bit more of a bump in the back, and you also get a little bit more volume up top in the front. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the fishnets. The fishnets are going to go over. Now, the difference between the two techniques is, now with a short wig, you know, short wigs are usually, obviously they're short, really short in the back. And you know, they're more full up top. So with a long wig, it's the opposite. So you wanna take, uh, mainly make all of your hair go to the, you know, between this part of your head, but you don't want a big old sack like an octobussy way back here, you know, way in the back when you got a short wig. It's just not gonna look natural. I'm gonna do the same technique, except what I do differently between the two is instead of me bringing it back and pulling my hair back, I am gonna pull all of my hair forward. Now, same technique as far as the wrapping, just make sure everything stays flat especially in the back, you know, on, on your, where your neckline is. Ooh, I almost popped myself. Um, especially where your neckline is because you don't want that to ball up. If it balls up, then you're gonna have a big old lump in the back where your wig ends. So I'm gonna wrap that around. Now, once I wrap this around, I always take it and tuck it in, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this other one and I am going to do the same exact thing. Now I'm starting to look like Miss Cleo. You see that? Call me now for your free bussy. Now I got that. So as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. My nose is itching, honey. So next is gonna be the same technique. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna grab a little bit, not as tight as it was, you know, as it is the first, the very first time I did it. But I'm gonna grab some of this net and pull it down and across. Grab some more of this net. Oh my goodness, child. And I'm gonna pull it across the other way. Now try to control as much as possible the shape of this. You know, try to keep it as even as you can. You know, by the way, you know, when you pull the fishnet, it kind of shapes it. But what I do is, is I just kind of use like my own logic to figure out how am I gonna get this into more of a perfect circle. As you can see over here, this side is all lopsided and I'm smoothing out this side by pulling the net in different directions and getting it nice and tight. So now I'm gonna pull this net back to smooth out this end over her, over her. That's how my cousin from Texas, that's how she says here. She'd be like, come her, come her. Once you have this all shaping and stuff, yes. Next, you're gonna put on your wig. Got me a good old shake and go. Come on now. Get into it. Now, if you have a big head, it's all like me. It's always good to cut out the little, uh, you know, the little straps. You know, you don't need the straps if you have a big head or if you have like a whole bunch of hair or whatever. But what I am doing is I'm taking this uh, band right here. Y'all gonna have to excuse my kitchen. I got pots and pans. And I'm sticking this pin through the band, as you can see, and I'm pulling it. And then I'm pushing it under that uh, net. Now that's how I always do my pins, no matter if it's a short wig or a long wig or whatever type of wig it is. That's what I'm doing. 
Now, next, I am stretching this band over to this side, and I'm gonna do the same thing, same technique. And then, I'm stretching it over to this side. You really gotta stretch out these little short wigs, honey, to get them the way you want it. And then the last thing that I do is I like to give like a little pat. You know what I'm saying? Give like a little pat to uh, get everything, you know, in place. Come on, yes. I'm giving you um, uh, the Black Sunday School uh, pastor's sister's daughter's cousin. Yes. So, and then you just want to smooth it out because these short wigs, they make your kitchen look terrible. But as you can see, you see how that's nice and smooth? Yes. Check it. It's nice and smooth, but yet my natural hair gives me like a little bit of volume. And then you can style this wig however, you know, you want to. If you wanted to, you know, be more up, you could do something like that. But I'm going to let this hang down. I feel like Justin Bieber. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is how I style my uh, hair. Remember the one wig method or straight wig method if you want to wear a straight wig or just something uh, simple, good old shake and go. I gave you the two wig method. That's if you want really big hair and you want to swing it around. And now I'm giving you the short wig method. I just want to say thank you so, so much to all of my subscribers. I'm so excited. I finally hit, I think, what, 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing so far. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as WOW Presents. I am featured on their network as well. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the likes and good views and comments. And hey, even some of the dislikes because you ain't got to like everything. Uh, but thank you at least for the view for all the people who dislike, who going to dislike this video. Thank you for the view anyways. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. It is at Jaden Fierce. That's J-A-I-D-Y-N-N. -N, and in that order, Fierce. Well, not in that order, Fierce, but Jaden Fierce. Yes, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and also on Twitter as well. Right, until next Wednesday, I cannot wait to see you guys. I love you. Bye.